Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And this video is for you guys out there who are trying to use the shell command or the thicken on the surface body and it didn't work. Now I'm not gonna get into why it doesn't work in uh, some situation, but uh, I'm gonna show you a workaround what you can do when it doesn't. So um, let's begin. In this example right here, you can see I have this bolt hole and I, I want to shell it. Um, so I just have the hole with the uh, with some walls. The thickness that I want is one millimeter. Um, yes, so how can we continue from here? So obviously in general, yeah, you're just going to go and use the shell, but it doesn't work in this case. So what we're going to do here, I'm just going to go to my uh, body and I'm going to create a copy and I'm going to paste it the same place and click OK. So now we have two bodies. Now the second one, I'm going to call it tool. And in a moment, you're going to see also why is that. Next, uh, what I want to do is I want to um, scale it down so it will give me um, to the distance between them uh, everywhere it's going to be one millimeter now in order to do that we need to yeah do some calculations uh, so you need to have some kind of this some kind of a sketch that can show you the midpoint and it's important because when we do the scale show you an example I'm um, just going to hide this one uh, so we want this to scale everything uh, around this point right on the center okay and if you can find it also inside the center not only uh, from the side the top you know if if you can really have it in the dead center like this yellow you can see here um, then it will be much better but in this case, I only have uh, the center here at the top. So I have uh, the Z axis and the X axis. OK, but if you can find also the Z X, the Y axis center, that would be better Then you can maybe use the uh, non-uniform. But anyway, without that, let's move on. And so we need to do some uh, calculations. But before I want to create a planet angle right here because I want to cut this surface right here at the top and why I want to do that because I want to uh, measure how uh, the, the width from here from each corner to the to the other side so we can continue with modified we're gonna go to split face this is the face and this is our splitting tool gonna click OK and now we can hide this plan we don't need it anymore so it looks like, like that so now I'm going to just select this edge and it will give us the length <clears throat> so I'm copy it and now we can go to a website don't worry there is a link down in the description that website can help us to calculate the percentage if you don't want to do it uh, manually so it's much easier this way also generally to make sure that you're not doing any mistakes so um, we have now this is the original length and now we need to reduce two millimeters and why is that because we have two sides from this side we need to reduce one millimeter and from this side also one millimeter and we're gonna do the, the length separately okay um, so let's go back so from here it's gonna be 61 then calculate so this is the percentage and again for those of you who don't know or don't remember but when working with scale it has ac it's actually working with percentage if you see here this is a percentage so remember like it's, it's like um, this is like hundred percent okay um, so now what we need to do is uh, we have the, the, the percentage right here so I can open my calculator and in order to be really precise so I'm gonna do 100 minus 
1636. Um, that should be enough. Equal 96. Great. So now that I have these numbers, I just need basically the first four numbers. So it's going to be 0 0.9683. So we can go back to Fusion and we can start. So we're going to do this on the tool, of course. So we're going to scale. We're going to select the entity and we're also going to select this point right here in the center because we wanted to shrink it from on this area. OK, this is the area. And so we are on the Z axis, as you can see here, the blue. OK, so we're going down here. We write 0 0.9683. OK, and we can also copy that to our Y axis. If there are going to be any problems or anything like that, then we can always uh, yeah, fix it later. I'm going to click OK. So now you can see why we had to do it in the center, because now we have like one millimeter here and another millimeter on the other side. But let's make sure that we, there are no other problems. So we can hide now the sketch. Here we go. Let's measure it. Let's see if it's correct. So we select this point right here and the second one and voila. So we have one millimeter. You can always play with that if you want it to be, you know, like 100% then you have to uh, add uh, some more precision to the number that we got. But in my case anyway, it should be enough. Uh, okay, so let's work on the length, which basically it's exactly the same process. I'm just going to have hide the main body and we're going to inspect and check this out 258 copy it I'm gonna copy it and we're gonna go to our website just gonna refresh it put it here and we have we need to reduce two millimeters so it's 256 calculate 0.7751 so i'm going to my calculator again say 100 minus uh, 0.7751 gives us 99.22 great going back to fusion and then we can double click uh, the scale feature in the timeline or right click on it as you want and then edit feature so now we can go to the X axis. So we do 0 0.9922. And as you can see, the effect immediately. And we click OK. Now we can hide the sketch. We don't need this one anymore. And we can turn on our main body. So this is how it looks. But before we can continue, as you can see here, it is on the same level uh, the two bodies and it's not good because what we're going to do now we're going to use the combine to subtract the tool from our main body and it's not going to work when they are both of them you know the same level um, yeah so we need to extrude a little bit upward our tool uh, so what we're going to do is very simple we're just going to go to press pull select that face one millimeter and click OK. Here you go. So now we can use the, uh, the combine tool and cut it very easily. So combine. This is our target body and this is our tool and it's already been selected as cut. We don't need to keep it and we click OK and voila. And this is how we can create the shell without the help of the shell command. As you can see, it doesn't really take that much time. In some situations, maybe if you need to um, change the scale in certain directions, but it's still, um, it's worth it and it's working really, really nicely. So maybe there are some shape of bodies that it's not going to work or I don't know, something you're struggling with. 
So you can always visit me on my website, I have a forum. Um, I'll contact me over there and I will do my best to help you. Let's do the measurement again here, from here to here, and again, one millimeter. So it looks really, really good. Um, let's do analysis. Um, let me delete the previous one that I did. You can go, the man analysis is right here. Go to tools and section analysis. Select this face right here. And we can start dragging like that. Then you can see how it looks from the inside. If we cut it and it looks pretty good uh, to me. But if in some case, let's say this, this area right here was a little bit thicker, then we could have just changed the Y axis uh, scale. Okay, accordingly. So it's really not that complicated. Uh, you can also maybe do a cut in a different way, maybe from here. Okay, you can also select it like that. And then you can measure the thickness uh, from this point to over here and see if you need to make any measurement. Maybe right here I need to make. So, but the problem, it's not a big problem because you can always increase or decrease the scale in order to, uh, you know what, let's, let's do it. So uh, let's see if we can, if it will give me the option to do a measurement. Let's see, I wanna measure from this point to this edge. Yeah, it's one, yeah, you see 1.105. Uh, so that means that I'm gonna need to see the Y axis. Uh, we're gonna need to um, scale it or put, I don't know, something like, uh, let's say if we put instead of eight, we put nine. Um, because we need to, it needs to be closer to like a hundred percent, yeah? And let's try again. And and this is basically how you measure and try it out. Yeah, see, it's a lot better. And if I want it even more precise, then I can go with, instead of nine, I can go with, um, I don't know, seven. You can already see the effect, how it's going down. So uh, let's see, I hope we didn't shrink it too small. Okay. It looks even better. So you can go down and down until uh, we're not basically going down. We're just increasing the Y size, the Y scale until we get uh, the thickness of one millimeter. So, but I hope you get the point. If not, just keep watching it again and again until it's going to sink in. And yeah, and this is it. I hope you like the technique. I hope it's going to help you. It helped me. I've been in a many situation where I've tried to use the shell and then I've moved on to the surface and it gave me the same issue because my ship was kind of special and uh, yeah, Fusion couldn't really solve that and uh, so I got every time I got an error and really frustrating which is also why I worked really hard to find another way of doing it and that was the best way. Uh, as you can see, it's not really that much steps. Uh, the timeline looks still really clean and you can control it anytime uh, yes another thing is in the next few days i'm going to do a review for the 3d connection mouse card and also there's going to be a giveaway so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification every time i'm sending a new um, a video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye